Waltham, Massachusetts is a western suburb of Boston, birthplace of the American Revolution. That's why you're hearing the Stars and Stripes forever, but also because this video documents a ride on the national holiday July 4th on Lexington Street in Waltham, from the Lexington Town Line to Bacon Street. I'm John Allen. I shot this video with a camera on my helmet facing forward and another on the rear rack of my bicycle facing rearward. The inset view is from the rear facing camera. In Lexington, the street has two wide lanes with shoulders. In Waltham, it switches to four narrow lanes. I look back and merge left to avoid a vehicle entering from a driveway and some rough pavement. I continue riding in the middle of the lane. This way, motorists will use the next lane to overtake, and I am more visible to drivers entering from the Waltham Plaza shopping center on the right. I also avoid more rough pavement. I am approaching the intersection with Trapello Road, where I wait for the traffic signal. Motorists pull up on my left in the next lane. Motorists on Trapello Road cross or turn onto Lexington Street. Drivers coming in the opposite direction on Lexington Street have a right turn bay. The traffic light changes. A truck coming from behind turns right. By riding in the middle of the lane, I avoid a potential right hook collision. The drivers in the next lane pass me. I pick up speed. Almost all the way down to Bacon Street, Lexington Street is downhill. Except when I have to wait for traffic or for traffic signals, I am traveling around 20 miles an hour for most of the way. A vehicle in the other lane passes. Another one which entered from a driveway merges out to pass. I'm approaching the traffic light at Stearns Hill Road. I pull up to wait at the traffic light, which is red. A car is pulling up to wait behind me. The light changes and I move out, continuing to control the lane. Two vehicles, which had been waiting in the other lane, pass. The driver who was behind me merges out and that vehicle passes me too. There are no more vehicles behind me but a storm grate, a sunken water valve cover, and lots of very rough pavement require me to ride near the left side of the lane. There's unavoidable rough pavement as I approach Ridge Lane. Again, as I wait at this traffic light, a vehicle pulls up behind. This time, the vehicle behind me stays in the same lane, despite an opportunity to merge. That is not of much concern to me. The driver eventually enters a driveway. My attention is directed ahead. A car waiting to turn right is blocking the lane. I merge around it and another car which is blocking it from entering a driveway. I'm passing the Waldlex Shopping Center and approaching its driveway opposite Brookway Road. I'm a bit frustrated here. I'm hitting all the red lights. Man, who timed these lights? Actually, that light was probably triggered by an upside-down metal detector in the street. Now check out the white car behind me. Close pass, clearly intentional with intent to intimidate with the horn honk. Every other motorist I've encountered on this ride has respected my rights. This one has committed assault with a deadly weapon. The Waltham police can read the license number off this video. Well, at least now, this time, I have a green light. The ride becomes much tamer from this point onwards. From here on down to Bacon Street, Lexington Street passes through a residential area. There are a few stretches of bad pavement, but with the four lanes and the light traffic, I can cruise down Lexington Street at my 20 mile an hour pace. From this point on, the ride might be tame enough that it's actually boring, so I'll try to entertain you with a little talk about speed and speed limits. 
as I pass the driveways and crosswalks from the Waltham High School and a middle school. There's a sign indicating a 20 mile an hour speed limit when children are present. I glance down at my digital speedometer. I'd be a little over the speed limit if children were present. Maximum speed limits are set based on some approximation of how fast it is safe to travel. There's constant tension between people's desire to travel faster and the interest of safety. Motorists frequently violate speed limits while safety advocates push to have them enforced and reduced. The car that passes me here is going more than 10 miles an hour faster than I am in a 30 mile per hour zone. But this section of Lexington Street is designed as a speedway and today there is no conflicting traffic. There's a bus stop sign ahead on the right and pedestrians could be expected to cross. It's legal too with no crosswalk for hundreds of feet in either direction. With bus stops, pedestrians crossing, traffic signals, turning and entering traffic, and slow vehicles like mine, there can be no minimum speed limit though on a road like this. That is possible only on a limited access highway from which slow vehicles are excluded. This section of Lexington Street could work better though for bicyclists and pedestrians and the city is discussing changes. Lincoln Street, coming in from the right, has a stop sign, but I look to the right out of caution. Vehicles are lining up at the traffic light at Totten Pond Road. The right-hand lane carries right-turning traffic as well as through traffic, and I'm riding near the lane's left side to be well-positioned to continue through the intersection. The light changes, the traffic moves out, and I proceed bearing right onto Bacon Street. This street has two wide lanes, and so I'm generally leaving room for motorists to pass in the same lane, but I look back for traffic and merge out to avoid some rough pavement. And so we come to the end of my video of a ride southbound on Lexington Street on July 4th.